Okay. Uh, well, I don't know about you guys, but I think most of you probably have seen this one before. Uh, whip, whip out the crying towels. Uh, this one, for some reason, maybe her age, maybe her uh, obvious emotion and sincerity. <laughs> Starting to cry already just saying stuff. Um, this one's... You know, for things there's top-notch, this one is up here somewhere. Uh, it's just, uh, I guess it's one of those special moments in time that just get captured. And here it is. Let's watch. You and I must make a path. We must bring salvation back. Stop there for a minute. Uh, first of all, I apologize. My dogs have been on fire today. Um, their job is to guard the house, and I'll tell you what, there hasn't been a breeze or, <laughs> or uh, heaven forbid, people anywhere near the house today, and they have been all up in arms about whatever. It's, it's really windy today, so yeah, I think every time a piece of grass blows by, they're on it, right on top of it. So... Uh, yeah, this one here, you know, guys, I think a lot of you like to see crybabies right here. Let me see if we can get a load of this. <laughs> My whole face is wet. Uh, Angelina, like I said, this, to me, this is a moment in time. Wait, hang on. I just used my shirt. It's handy. Uh, 
Sorry to be such a crybaby, but you know what, Angelina? A moment like this, and it's captured, it can't be duplicated or replicated. Angelina could, could have sang that song every day after this. It wouldn't be the same. And, of course, she's in this venue, too, with all these people. I don't know what's going on, but... Um, <laughs> Sorry for the silence. I'm trying to have not a squeaky voice. You know, that when I cry, sometimes I get a squeaky voice. So Angelina steps out there. Look at her. <laughs> Fearless. Completely at home on stage. Eight years old. Eight years old. Little white dress. No shoes. Flower crown. Completely precious, adorable, cute, you name it, right? Innocent, pure. I mean it's it's just a it's just a vision, really. And sorry, I had the mic kind of away from my mouth. I didn't want to get tears on it and ruin it. Elroy's decided to chew on a bone right next to our uh, operations here. So and he's going to go back at it, too. I'm sorry for the noise of the dog. It's either barking or chewing on bones. I guess chewing on bones is less. So, as, you know, as I listen to the video, I mean, it's just, look at, I'm sure you are, but look at the, the whole setting, really. That's why I say it's a moment in time that can never be recaptured, can never be redone, can never be repeated. And we saw it, and we're witnessing it, and we're looking at it now. And it's, a, it's just a moment frozen in time when she was eight years old. So let's go ahead and watch the rest. I mean, I don't know what you guys are looking at, but, you know, to me, I'm going to shrink my picture up so I'm not in the way too much. I started off in a bad spot over there in the corner. I got in the way a little bit. So this is my second run through on the video. That's why I'm stopping now and pausing and giving a little reaction. Where there is love. Just before Angelina kicks back in, I think the string, the string instruments, the orchestra type setting, small orchestra, I guess, maybe it's a big one, I can't tell. Uh, I think that adds uh, a certain amount of uh, elegance, class, uh, smoothness, if you will. Uh, just sometimes violins are just uh, magical in and of themselves. They tell a story. And uh, just, you know what, Angelina, she steps in. <laughs> She just steps in the middle of that stage and starts singing. <laughs> like, hey, you know, past the fruity pebbles. But uh, it, it's, uh, I don't get it. I really like it a lot. That's the reason I'm here. Let's keep watching. I reach out my hand to you. I have faith that all
This is coming right to the good part, too. And Steve, you went and stopped. What's the matter with you? I'm going to back it up a little bit. Sorry about moving my picture around. I refuse to have my picture on top. <sighs> you know, I try to accommodate. Sorry about all the picture moving and stuff. So I think the first time through, I was I, re I didn't really interfere. I think my picture was small enough; it wasn't in the way. I refused to put my picture uh, on top of blocking any part of Angelina's performance. It's a criminal act, in my opinion, to do that and to make you know. Now that it's my turn to comment, and I've already been through the video a couple times. You know, now I can make my picture any size I want, but I'm not going to cover Angelina up in any case. Um, I try to accommodate the viewers. You know, I get comments about my pictures. My box is too small. It's over in the corner. Nobody can see me, blah, blah, blah. I understand. I watch reaction videos, too. I like watching reaction video people react. Um, with that said, uh, I don't necessarily want to be like everybody else, Okay. Uh, it's not my goal uh, being here is to be like everybody else. I want to be better. I want to do some version of what I do that's better than uh, maybe some other people do in some way for some viewers. Uh, but I'm not driven by trying to be like the crowd. You know, and I've, I have uh, succumbed to that a little bit here and there. But I try to, I, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm a unique individual just like all of you are. And I... I don't think my uniqueness is anything that needs to blend in with a crowd. Sorry, I just don't. Never have, probably never will. So, but I am not going to, you know, this. This is just an incredible squeaky voice time. This is an incredible performance by an eight-year-old girl. Throughout the song, when it zooms in on her, on her face, I mean, you can see she's feeling it. I am too. I don't even know what the event was here, and I don't think it matters. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure it was something important because Angelina wouldn't be there otherwise. Important to her anyway. And I understand, I think there's a story with this that Angelina wasn't feeling good or had a cold or some, something and went on anyway against everybody's advice because basically the way Angelina is, she's, 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 uh, she, she said in an interview once she, she, singing's like breathing to her. And, I believe that. I believe it always has been since the day she was born. Maybe before then. And to her not going to perform when she said she would is unthinkable. 
under any circumstances. That's what I think. Now, she's 17 and a half now, as far as I know. I haven't never heard of her missing a performance or anything due to any circumstances. So, matter of fact, uh, she even did the, uh, the one video uh, for her grandfather. I think it was like the day, day or two after he passed, you know. And she just, this is her way of uh, expressing herself. This is her way of living her life is, is by singing, you know, regardless of what the circumstances are. You can always get to pick and choose the circumstances. They, you know, they happen, they happen. So, you know, I don't want to rant and rave too much about Angelina. You, you're all here for the same reason I am. You love her. Uh, there's something, you know, there's something special about her. And, uh, you know, if you're like me, you're trying to figure it out. Why? Because that's the nature of the beast. You know, I'm not a, I don't always just accept everything. I think about it. If it makes sense, I'll accept it. If it doesn't, I won't. And I think that's not a bad practice. Uh, now, sometimes I can accept or decline certain things based on uh, information that I don't have or the information that I think I have that may or may not be correct. So later on, I might have to change my mind about something. But, hey, that life makes life interesting, right? So this little girl here, like this, standing there with her head up high, singing to this audience, and it's just incredible to me, the whole thing. The band, you know, the band, the orchestra setting it adds to it all, I think, to the elegance of it and the, and the classiness of it. It's just, uh, like I said, this is a moment frozen in time forever as it is. And to me, there's so much perfection in this. It's incredible. I keep saying the same words. Don't have other words to describe this. There are none. I just have to pick the ones we that fall short that we use all the time that puts puts uh, a little punctuation mark on it. But they don't. There's nothing to describe this. This is un indescribable. Okay, guys, I'm going to quit carrying on. It's long enough, I think. Uh, so this was the last of the uh, I'll Be There performances that I had, although I see we have another one uh, shot from a different person. I'm going to go ahead and do that next. Uh, for me, this performance is the kind of performance, like the first one I ever saw was I Put a Spell on You, the black and white version when she was nine years old. Uh, those, those are moments in time. It's perfection. Can't be duplicated. Can't be matched. Can't be equaled. Can't be surpassed. This is that kind of a performance. Now, all the other performances we saw, the rehearsals, everything, were fantastic in their own right and in their own way. But this, whole different level. Way, way more of a higher level than any of those, even though those two were, in my opinion, uh, you know, perfection or near perfection for what they were. You know? I, it's too bad that I'm so biased, but I am. And I guess I shouldn't apologize for it. It is what it is. So we'll see you on the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. I think I'm starting to recover now. Oh, I can move on with the show here. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.